Hi everyone, it's Michael Dugo with Remax Premier. During this video, I'm gonna talk about my real estate predictions for the rest of the year. As well, I just want to talk about some observations that I've had recently about the market. Regarding price, my prediction will be that the average price will remain somewhat stable throughout the rest of the year. If anything, maybe a change between three to 5%, um, depending on the area and the sub-market. I expect condos to still continue rising, but not as significantly as the prior year, something like four to 5%, whereas freehold properties, I would guess that they would probably go up by maybe two to 3% by the end of the year. Just through studying patterns and trends throughout the past few years, we typically notice that prices do increase, they trend upwards until about April to May, and then they dip down for the summertime, and then they spike a little bit higher for the fall. Now, the fact that prices haven't increased too much throughout this year tells us that they're probably not gonna increase anywhere back to what the crazy numbers were back in the beginning of 2017. Although I'm finding that in particular areas, depending on supply and demand, that the market is looking good in this fact that prices are about five to 6% higher than they were 12 months ago, and the average days on market is a lot less. For example, I've listed a property in Toronto W04, which is just by Keelan Wilson, a little bit south of the Downsview area. And in that particular subdivision in that area, there's not many listings up for sale. So when I listed the property, we immediately had seven showings within the first four days and they got two offers. So it's always going to vary on the area, on the number of properties that are up for sale, just simple supply and demand. And the second prediction I wanted to share is that the rental market will continue to improve. So the average rent is going to continue to increase. To give you an idea, a two bedroom apartment right now would rent for about $2,800, whereas a year ago, it would rent for about $2,600. So it's something like a 6% increase. And we're seeing all the signs of a very, very strong market for rentals in that vacancy rates are at an all-time low. And I came across an interesting stat that showed that 47% of Toronto households are currently being occupied by a tenant. And this number is continuing to increase. And here's just um, a glimpse of the year-over-year -year summary. You can see that the number of sales really hasn't changed at all. The number of new listings has decreased. Active listings decreased as well. The average price is actually only up by 0.5%. Although this, it's varying between different styles of homes. Detached homes have actually dropped by 2.1%. And um, condo apartments, they've increased by 1.6%. And the average days on market, you can see it's very similar, three weeks now, whereas a year ago it was 20 days. So I, I hope all this information was helpful. If you're considering buying, selling, or if you have questions about the market, I'd love to hear from you. Just call me, 416-671-5218. As always, if you can think of anyone else that may find this information helpful, just forward the email over to them or copy and paste the link on YouTube, share that with them, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.